Hey guys, you're watching Zuan and Lonely. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Mini City. Today is the observatory. I want to be building the observatory in miniature, which is located up and over here. Now, observatory has an iconic shape. It, it has the base and then has the telescope on top, usually a, a dome. Now, first problems first is that Ooh, I nearly fell. In Minecraft, we don't have domes, especially not on a tiny scale. We don't really have them on a big scale, but definitely not on a small scale. So, player heads skull will work. Now, there's some skulls that we've already used. There's some skulls that we haven't used. Dragon skull could be quite interesting because we could make... Hello? We could make the nose of it look like the telescope section. But I don't think so. For one, I don't think it would actually really look that good. Number two, I think I need to retexture the dragon to do that. And I don't know, like, I think if I opened up the dragon in Photoshop, it would be a complete mess to me. So, we're going to grab a normal skull. With a skeleton skull, absolutely perfect. We've got, like, a few skulls left to go. Uh, but, yeah, we can retexture that to look like a little miniature telescope. But it's got to go on top of a building. So let's say we just got a normal block, let's say uh, gravel works fine, look, gravel, that's our observatory. But imagine all of the side. if we texture up the sides to look like our observatory, as we all know, the top will also take that face. So if you put the uh, telescope on top, we would end up with this weird wall texture sort of poking through a little bit. Oh, the other advantage of using a skull is that we can place it at any direction we want. So we can somewhat turn the telescope. You can actually like turn pretty much at any number of degrees. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, So there are some blocks that we can use to get around that. Uh, melon has a different top top texture to side texture pumpkins uh, there's a purple block that does i never knew that there was a purple block that does until you guys told me the other day and i think there's a few more but i'm trying to really crafting table uh i don't think oh furnace probably does um th th there's a few of them but we need to be careful because they're so limited that if we use them all up willy nearly like just for no reason there's going to be a, a building that we're going to come across that we need that kind of uh, block formation that we're not and we're, and we're not going to be able to do it because those textures have already been used. So I'm going to go with melon for today. Melon is going to be our observatory block. Uh, we can make the top texture different. We can make it all white, uh, which is probably what we'll do, and have the side textures different. Obviously, I can't use our normal carpet technique because if I put a carpet down, I can't put the skull on top. Let's jump into Photoshop. Okay, I don't know what Minecraft screenshot folder keeps doing to me, but like whenever I finish an episode of any series, I always hit the screenshot button inside of Minecraft, which is F2. Uh, it takes a nice screenshot to make an easy thumbnail. And I've taken a screenshot now for hundreds of episodes across different series. And it seems to me that like like 80% of them just go missing for some reason like some of them I, I have like really early ones and I have really recent ones but I have like nothing in the middle it seems I've got some random ones from the Alcatraz Island I've got some random ones from the cruise ship random ones from the port uh, but the city ones seem to be going missing now I'm not looking in the wrong folder I know where I save my own screenshots but they seem to go missing after a while so I've had to open up one of my own videos to get the observatory in <laughs> So I can see just what it looks like as a reference. I'll put that on that top screen there. Uh, and it's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple block. Oh, no, it, not that. We want melon, don't we? Duh. Melon. Uh, melon. Now, melon has the top texture and the side texture. We're going to work on the side texture first. And it's a pretty simple one. We need a, a yellowy cream, which we're pretty close to already, but I want it more on the yellow side uh, than what we've had previously on previous blocks. And we want to fill all that perfect. That's like an exact sandstone color. That is sandstone right there. Uh, and then what we want to have is we want to have a white. And I don't want to put the white right at the top because... Or, or do I? 
Now that could work. If we have one line of white at the top, because the top section is all going to be white anyway. So we have that. That'll look at like the texture has just folded over onto the side of this block just a little bit. I think that's going to really work. And then what we want is the wall textures. Now the way that we done the observatory is we made like pillars that go all the way around. Pillars that are sort of half in the wall and half not. Very easy for us to do. All we've got to do is grab a darker one for the darker sides of our pillars. Flip that round. Now, we don't want it right on the edge, otherwise we're going to have two pillars next to each other, aren't we? I'm going to leave three blocks, and I'm going to put a line down here. And we're going to get a lighter one. And we're going to put a line down here. So that's going to be the out, the left side of pillar one, and that's going to be the right side of pillar three, probably. How wide we want the pillars to be is now up to us. If we wanted them to be four blocks wide, it would be there. If we wanted them to be five blocks wide, it would be there. I think four blocks is pr was a pretty good hit to begin with. So there's two pillars in there. We'll make the middle texture in between them both. So it won't be the same as this one. So we want just an in-between one, more on the yellow scale than the grey scale. Perfect, look at that. So that goes in there. That just gives us a real popped out section. It looks like that part is raised out further than the rest, which is exactly what we want from pillars. Now with it being an, odd, uh, an even number, it means it's going to go brilliantly in the middle. And now we've got ourselves three pillars. However, what I want to do is I want to put a split down the center of our uh, building. So it's not all one giant long pillar. I want to have a little bit of a split in here. So I've put a nice darker gray on there. I want to have the same thing here. So we'll have the darker one and the lighter one. Is that why? That's not white, is it? That's Yeah, it's just off-white. It's a lovely color. All right, so now we've put a split in it, it looks a little bit weird again. What we need to do is we need to have some shading along the tops. So we're going to grab this darker one, and I'm going to put this darker one along here, and along here. And then we're going to get this middle one to go along here. And along here. Now that way, it's actually split up so it looks like two separate layers. It doesn't look like we've put a line straight through the middle now, does it? Maybe we could do the same thing as what we just done, but with the lighter one at the bottom. So we have it like this. Oops. At the bottom. Now this is a little bit off what the real observatory looks like. However, I think it's going to improve what it looks like for us in... Yeah, that's, that really does work. I actually like that. I actually like that a lot. I think maybe on this lower section, we should make it taller, though. Uh, the bottom section, if you remember, if I bring this over again. I don't play the video. Um, we, we have this section here, which is like the split down the middle. And then we have that little part above it. I know it's very hard for you guys to see, but I'll show you anyway. At the bottom here, we have this cobblestone. And then the door's up a little bit. So we want the cobblestone across the bottom, which means we are going to have to maybe lift all of this up would be a good idea. We'll have three blocks of cobblestone underneath the bottom. That now makes the top section smaller than the bottom section, which I think I like more. I could reduce it more, but I don't think I need to. We'll grab a grey, a little bit darker grey for our base cobble colour. Like so. And then we'll get... A darker one and what I think we can do here is not check a pattern it but random dot ooh, that's not random there we go random dot darker ones and lighter ones maybe like one darker one this one is it different enough yes yeah, different enough this one and a lighter one and it'll give us a miniature cobble effect if you think about what cobble looks like if you look at it close up like vanilla cobblestone uh, it looks like a bunch of tiny little rocks, doesn't it? All clumped into one. Now, we should be able to replicate this in Photoshop in such a small resolution. We're in a 32 by 32 bit resolution by just doing a bunch of different colors of greys. And when we zoom out and we see it in the scale that we're meant to see it inside of Minecraft itself, it should all blend in to be a nice sort of cobbly texture. I think I want to 
raise this up by one more block all of this up by one more block just so I can get a darker line to cap off the top of this cobble like that now I don't want to have a door on it if I have a door on it we're gonna have a door on all four sides and I don't want that on this observatory we're just gonna put windows in instead the windows are nice and simple we're gonna do black window uh, we're gonna do blue windows for this one we're gonna do like a, like a just off blue and we'll put some white uh, dots in them as well because these windows I think can be a little bit bigger uh, they're not gonna be up here obviously like that would be correct in like a normal Minecraft scale, but in miniature Minecraft scale, that's just not right. Uh, we're going to do... Or maybe I could do that. I think that's the smallest scale that we could go while keeping it also centered. Now that should wrap around the corner really nicely because if you've got to remember our observatory is round. I know there's square parts that come off it, but the observatory itself was a circle building. Now we can't do that in Minecraft, obviously. But having the windows curve around the side of the block could give a little bit more of an impression that it's meant to be rounded. You'll know what I mean once we jump in. We'll put a little bit of uh, white on these just to get some uh, some light around it. Uh, for a windowsill, we'll put a nice white line around like this while also adding some darker ones. Just slightly darker grey on the ooh, I didn't I didn't like what I done the first one. So like the side twos. Put that one back to white again. I think that works out nicely. Uh up the top here, I don't think there were any windows. I'm gonna keep that nice and blank and nice and simple. I think that's good. We're gonna hit the save button. Oops, I can do that. That's better. Okay, apparently not. PNG melon side. Save. Save. And then I'm just going to grab this color because this is going to be the top color for Melon Top. Don't need to save. Do that. Come down. Fill it all in with one color. Nice and simple. Boom. And that's Melon Top. Finished. So that should be the observatory building itself done. Now we need to go into Skull. Skull. Uh, and it was a Wither. No, I don't need to go into Skull. I need to go to Wither. Wither skeleton. Yeah, not the wither. Uh, so this is our wither skeleton. And obviously, this is the head. This is the part that we're most important. We're most interested in over here. This is what's going to change the skull texture. Front, top, left, right, back, bottom. Don't need to worry about the bottom. We're never going to be looking underneath it. So that can stay how it is. Uh, I've still got the same color selected. So what we're going to do is... Just put a straight, oops, not over, don't go over. I don't know what would happen if you went over. I, I don't know if it would poke out in certain areas or, or, or what. Uh, now, where is, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, no, we should be okay. We should, we should be fine. I just want to know where it splits off, but I don't think we need to worry about where it splits off. I don't want to put any sh real shading on the corners of each face of the block. So I don't, for example, I don't want a darker line i'm just doing it really dark so you can see i don't want a darker line that goes down here and down that way on each one because that would make it look square we don't want it to look square what we can do is we can make a darker along the bottom but not the top if we do darker along the top we're going to be able to see it darker along the bottom really doesn't matter uh i think i can just copy and paste that and then i'm not I'm, i know i'm not going over some random spot then so Let's get a slightly darker, just slightly darker grey to whiz along the bottom here. Like that. It won't be seen all that much, but it will just have a slight uh, raised feeling. Like that. Now, the observatory hole itself. We want to try and get the effect that it's open with a little telescope and a little black slit down the middle as if it was like a, a voided area you know as if it's a dark area in there so let's get ourselves a black to begin with and these heads are even numbers correct one two three four one two three four yes these heads are even numbered so we need the slit in the observatory to be at least two blocks wide i think four 
Would it be too thick to have four? Or would it be right to have four? I think it's right to have four. And we want this to go over the top and the front. So it's going to go over the top of them both uh, to make it look like uh, it's sort of split all the way down. I want to come down, I think, to about there. And I think I'm about right on the height. I think maybe I've gone down one pixel too much, though. Something like that. For the telescope itself, it's a pretty simple one. We're just going to grab ourselves a gray. And we can put it at whatever height we want. I'm going to do it at this height. That height would mean it was on the top. Or. Or. We could do it so it was split in between them both. So the actual telescope section was in between two faces. Like that. Now this bottom texture is going to be on the front. These ones are going to be on the top. It might give us a little bit better uh, of like an, an angled look. We'll get some darker ones around the side there just to get a little bit of shine. And we'll use a light blue for the lens. Like that. Looks pretty good. I like that. Maybe we could even stick one white pixel in the corner for a nice shine. And yeah, it looks like uh, Wally's eye, doesn't it? Of um, uh, of Wally. That that that's what the <laughs> film was called. We'll have the shutters now on the sides. Now I want this to be one pixel shorter than the edge of the block. And we want it to be a little bit taller. I've gone three pixels below, three pixels above. Uh, so oops, down here, up to there. And then one, two, three, four. And we get ourselves the lighter one to go up here and there. So it looks like the sort of shutter sections uh, are, are opened up on here. Might be nice to get an in-between of those two to color these center parts in. It's a very subtle difference. I don't know if YouTube will even pick up that difference but that looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with that i think that's all it needs it's almost like portal isn't it it's almost like uh glados of portal great game if you haven't played that game you really really should so with a skeleton save boom let's go and see what it looks like right now all right i took the melon and the skull away before i changed the texture pack because i didn't want to spoil it because i sometimes i end up seeing it before you and it's gutting so i deleted them first so i have no idea melon this is what it looks like in the texture form with the white top, absolutely perfect. And then we want skull like this. So we put down the observatory. I love it. See how the windows wrap around the corners? It, it almost gives an impression that it's rounded off. The cobblestone texture has really worked at the bottom as well. I really like that. And now the most important part. Yes! Look at that. So there's our little slits on it with the little telescope sticking out the top. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. That works really well. I know it's not perfect. I know we can't get a dome or anything like that. That's as close to a dome as you can get this scale. Uh, it goes smaller, which is exactly what you want. We've got the little shutters on either side. We've got the telescope sticking out. I'm really glad I put a little white dot on there. That really worked well. I'm so chuffed about that. And uh, these buildings look pretty good when they're placed next to each other as well. Look, they actually have uh, a perfect symmetrical symmetry. So they actually will click next to each other and almost join up pretty seamlessly. Apart from that middle window is one block shorter. But I mean, there's nothing that I can really do about that. Itchy nose. And I think this observatory does go wider and in front, but they are shorter. Uh, we could do some kind of some kind of slab uh, to fix that problem um, but again we're then using up a slab texture for the moment the sandstone is perfect isn't it when you think about it you know something like I don't like the front I like the side one though uh, out here and I think there's a little car park as well isn't there that we've got that goes up and into here I don't know if it's it's about that size. I don't know if it takes up them both. It might take up them both. It's going to be a university eventually. At the moment, we've only got the observatory and I think one little extension building. Uh, but eventually, I want something. Oops. Something that would look like this in the real in the real city. That's the sort of shape that I want to have, and then have 
this is all like a pathway and nice trees and stuff like that around there with a little bit of a car park. I think that works really well. Saplings, uh, spruce trees and oak trees and string. Just to dress up the area around here. String, 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 string. Uh, oak, string. That one, that one, that one. I think that's actually more trees than what we have around this observatory already uh, in, 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 in the real city. I want to add, I keep saying I want to add trees around here, but I just haven't got around to it. I don't like the one blocking the front. I like the one diagonally from it, but I don't like the one blocking the front. That looks so cool, right? From a distance, it looks even better. That is an observatory, 100%. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you after I stop hiccuping in the next episode.